Interesting stuff, right? Let's talk about some politics now. So UDA Nairobi gubernatorial candidate Johnson Sakaja continued to battle a petition seeking to have his name struck from the August 8th ballot paper. In an affidavit filed before the IBC dispute tribunal, Sakaja asked the tribunal to dismiss the complaint arguing that he had academic qualifications as required by the Electoral Commission. Sakaja claims that the degree certificate conferred to him by Team University in Uganda is duly recognized in the Republic of Uganda and Kenya. Sakaja's competitor Poli Kapigade's nomination has also been challenged on grounds that he abdicated his duty when he resigned as Nairobi Deputy Governor on the 31st of January in 2018. There is no issue on the fact. In an affidavit filed before the IEBC Dispute Resolution Committee, UDA Nairobi gubernatorial candidate Johnson Sakaja came out to defend himself against claims of not being eligible to vie for the seat in the August 9th polls. Sakaja, who terms the complaints as baseless, insists that he holds a Bachelor of Science in Management degree conferred to him by Team University in Uganda, having satisfied the requirements for the award. The senator also argues that the university in Uganda is duly recognized in that country and by convention in Kenya. Sakaja is accusing the complainants of fraudulently omitting relevant pages of the graduation booklet, which was held on 21st October 2016 and which bears his graduation credentials. In his affidavit, one of the complainants, Dennis Gaku, had indicated that only six students graduated with a degree of Bachelor of Science in Management and Sakaja was not among them. Gaku also claimed that the university stopped offering the degree in the year 2015, one year before Sakaja graduated, and that the senator's degree certificate was printed on the 29th of May at 10 p.m., days before his clearance. Sakaja has dismissed Gaku's complaints on grounds that the petitioner addressed him as Sakaja Koske Johnson, which is not his name. Sakaja, who wants the complaints dismissed, argues that the complainants are being pushed by his competitors who want to confine him within the corridors of justice as they enjoy a field day on the campaign trail. Clearing Mr. Polycap Pigath. Meanwhile, Sakaja's competitor, Polycap Igather's bid, is also being challenged at the committee. George Bush, a voter in Nairobi, wants Igather's nomination revoked on grounds that Igather abdicated his role as a deputy governor when he resigned on January 31st, 2018, after a fallout with the former governor, Mike Sonko. The nomination of Polycap Igather be revoked and the CRO be ordered to consider our letter because uh, the letter was uh, uh, had legitimate grievances. Resigning from office, that is a, a decision that he should have consulted the people of Nairobi. Even failing to execute his office for particular reasons was uh, something that should have consulted the voters of Nairobi. The committee will rule on the matter on Wednesday. UDA Kiambu senatorial aspirant Karungo Thangwa also faced the panel. Karungo, through his lawyer Mbogwa Nganga, has challenged the decision by the IEBC Kiambu County returning officer not to clear him to vie for presenting his papers late and also for having been impeached by Kiambu County Assembly as a CEC, a matter that is still ongoing in court. The Assembly will propose or initiate a removal motion, but it has to be acted upon by the governor for it then to be deemed that the CC member has been removed from office. And that's precisely what happened here. There was no action and there was therefore uh, no removal. There was a communique from my chairman. Go to article item G. It talks of aspirants impeached and removed from public office for abuse of office. So I did not go into the matters deeper, but I had to follow instructions. The ruling on the case will be delivered on the 18th of June. The committee hearings continue Tuesday.